Yeah, boss of YouTube, Elmas here. How for you guys today? Another showdown live. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, then you know what to do. Make sure to show off your support. And today we are going to be doing Yu Yu again with the face cam. So if you guys do enjoy that, then yeah, hopefully y'all enjoy. Also, um, unfortunately, I was unable to get Yu Yu Rex uh, because of all the stuff that happened with my channel being suspended. So I didn't get a chance to vote on Victini uh, being banned, but I was probably going to lean towards banning it. I think I banned by a 60-40 majority vote, so it was kind of close. So, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Did you guys agree with the vote? Do you think Victini should have stayed, or do you think it it's fine not in the tier? Also, let me know what new threats do you think are going to be around now that Victini is gone. That's actually something I'm interested to find out. So, by all means, let me know in the comment section below, of course. And, yeah, anyways, I think I've done enough rambling. If you missed my upload from yesterday, a link to that will be down in the description. Also, I don't know if this will be going up. Um, no, 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 it shouldn't be going up. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I just kind of zoned out. But since today is Thursday, a link to my Lumio Station video will be down in the description as soon as it goes up. So if you guys go check out that video, show support to that video, I would greatly appreciate it. Then come back to this one. You can also check out all the awesome series on Lumio Station if you would like to do that, of course. So, yeah, anyways, I'm rambling for a minute and a half. I just woke up like. 40 minutes ago, so I apologize if I'm just stuttering over my words. Anyways, uh, this is a really fun team that I just kind of almost threw together. So we have Defensive Whimsicott with Stun Spore, and I wanted to pair it up with a Mega B Joel just because Mega B is pretty strong, and after a Stun Spore, it can outspeed. Well, it already almost outspeeds the entire tier, but after Stun Spore, um, Scarf Mons aren't a problem. Then I wanted to pair it up with a sub calm mine Cresella because I've actually been wanting to use it for a while. This is enough speed to outspeed uh, 220 speed Blastoise if I'm not mistaken. So yeah. Then we have uh, defensive Empoleon with Toxic. Uh, it was a core between Empoleon, uh, Bandit Entei, and Whimsicott, but I, I really wanted to use B and Cresselia. And then uh, it was suggested to run Scarf Hydreigon, so decided to try that out. And I'm going to see how Toxic works on Empoleon. Uh, as, as many of you guys know, I don't. I don't like Empoleon, <laughs> I really, really don't. I really, really don't. Uh, but yeah, that's a quick introduction to the team, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get this started. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the first match here, and uh, this dude has a pretty interesting looking team. Uh... Most likely Scarf Mancha, which kind of sucks, so I have to watch out for that. Uh, leads, though, not really too sure, to be honest. Kind of just want to lead off with my Entei, considering that he really has nothing for this. As I'm okay, you know what? I'm going to risk this. I'm going to be bad and just stay in. I really am. <laughs> don't, don't try this at home, kids. Oh, my lord. Uh... I'm going to be highly upset if he does manage to knock me out with any one hit, because uh, I'm going to cry a little inside. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh man, uh, this is problematic. Actually, no. Yeah, because I mean, I have a perfect counter in Cresselia, so he should not want to stay in and go for the high jump kick. There is no reason for him to want to do that. Yes, okay, got him. Which means I think I just get a free kill here, to be honest. That's how much Entei is a threat to him. So, uh, no burn, but I'm just going to stay in and just go for it again, because I really lose nothing in doing so. As he doesn't Mega Evolve. Uh, I do get the burn this time, though, which is great. However, though, he's uh, going to end up paralyzing me with freaking... Are you kidding me? Ugh, that's, that is frustrating. Um, that is going to be problematic now, actually. I uh, completely forgot about T-Wave. Uh, this is... Not good. Um, yeah, Cresselia doesn't do much in this match either, unfortunately. I'm going to just switch right into my opponent because if he wants to go for rocks, I can just go ahead and defog here. His best play would be to actually just stay in and just try to get up rocks again. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. Um, this isn't entirely too bad. It really isn't. As I should be able to just switch in Cresselia. Because there's a chance he'll probably just high jump kick here. And yeah, okay, so managed to call his bluff on that one. 
So his best switching is probably Florgus. So I'm gonna double into my Empoleon here. Just because I want to be able to go ahead and get rid of um these rocks as he actually brings in the Slurpuff. This is actually kind of a problem. Well no, because yeah, I'm I can just encore him with my Whimsicott actually. And yeah, he makes a very bad play there as I can encore him into Belly Drum. Basically making this thing useless to him. As he decides to bring in the Empoleon, so he can Belly Drum again later, but it's going to be very risky if he tries to do so. As he ends up bringing Empoleon, I really lose nothing by just going for the U-turn here, just because um, I can get off chip damage even though it's not going to matter because of leftovers, but <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. So he goes for the Roar, unfortunately, for me. Uh, I mean, he loses nothing by just going for the... For the Scald here, and I really just want to get rid of these Stealth Rocks. I really do not want them up on my side of the field. Please don't roar again. Okay, thankfully he goes for the Scald, and he burns me. So, that's always exciting. Kind of frustrating, actually. But I'm just going to go ahead and defog here. I don't know why my nose always itches when I record. I'm sorry, guys. My nose is just really itchy. Or maybe it's just in the mornings. Maybe it's in the mornings. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's fine. It's fine. So, you can just defog here. Really lose nothing in doing so. As he ends up bringing in the Slurpuff, okay, this is literally not a problem at all. Because if he really wants to belly drum again, I have the perfect counter in Whimsicott. As he goes for the Prey Roth, and then he gets a crit. It's kind of frustrating. I'm just going to go for Stun Spore here. As he ends up bringing in a Trevenant, um... I should be able to just U-turn on out of here. I mean, this thing shouldn't be able to do anything to me. And he has what? You have what? Hello? Why does he have that? Um, okay then? Wait, wait. Does he have sub? If you have substitute with the Rocky Helmet, I'm gonna... <sighs> I don't, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. What has happened to this game? Is this, this is not a thing. It's not a set now, is it? No, no it's not. So he risks Empoleon on my ba Okay. He's making some some very questionable plays. Very questionable plays, but I think I get a free kill here with Entei. As long as I hit the move, as long as I don't get paralyzed and I somehow don't miss Sacred Fire, I should be fine. I'm not really too concerned with him protecting, it's just if I get paralyzed that I'm going to be concerned. See, like that turn I didn't get paralyzed, but this turn, watch, watch. Okay, thankfully I didn't get paralyzed again. Um, unfortunately, no burn, which is kind of annoying. But I'm just gonna go ahead and bring back in Empoleon here. As he's, yeah, as he's just gonna go for Scald. Um, I can go for a Scald on my own now. Yeah, because I really lose nothing in doing so. Uh, he could have Natural Cure on Trevenant, actually. As he ends up bringing in the uh, Florgus. Managed to get a, a burn on that, excuse me, sorry. Um, this could be problematic, actually. Yeah, because he, cause he could probably just pass off a a wish. So I'm going to make the safe switch into my Entei here. Because I always get a free switch on, in on Florgus. Pretty much. So as long as I don't get paralyzed, I should be fine. And he's going to risk it. Okay, thankfully... Thankfully, <laughs> I did not get paralyzed there. I actually would have been really, really upset if I did get paralyzed there. Um, Bijo puts in a lot of work against his team as well. See, I don't want to switch right into it because he could just Stone Edge potentially, so I'm going to make the safe switch into my um, Cresselia as knockoff. Yeah, that, does, that doesn't even bother me. <laughs> um, I think I'm actually going to double into Bijo here. Yeah, because I can Mega Evolve. Am I am I faster than this? Um, I'm not faster than this, but I can just go for Poison Jab, honestly, because I know I can live a player off, and I can take a Drain Punch, and I can take a Return if he has it. So he's gonna make a very questionable play into Florgus here, as I'm able to just clean knock him out. So yeah, I think the game is pretty much mine. Uh, thankfully, that paralysis didn't uh, hinder Entei too badly. 
But I, I forgot that Agron even run Thunder Wave, to be perfectly honest with you guys. That's that was uh that was my fault right there. Just staying in and playing risky like that. Uh but if Mancha comes in I can just protect. If this comes in, I just poison jab. If this comes in, I just U-turn or poison jab, because they're both neutral, but they're both uh boosted by adaptability, so it doesn't really matter what I go for. So just gonna go for the protect. As he ends up going for the Stone Edge, I'm fine with that actually. And I mean, this match is a lot closer than the 6 0, because as you can see, half of my team is halfway gone, and then one is status. I need to keep Whimsicott though, as he ends up going for the Stone Edge, so he could potentially knock me out with another Stone Edge if he really wants to stay in here. I'm just going to go for Toxic on the off chance that he switches into the Trevenant, but he does end up making the safe play, which isn't, uh, which isn't bad at all. Um. Uh, this is tough, because he can still win this. I have to bring him Hydreigon. I kind of just want a U-turn, to be honest. Well, I think I can just Fire Blast, actually. Yeah, I should be fine just Fire Blasting here. Because it's neutral to Slurpuff, and I should bring it down to the range where he can't Belly Drum anymore. So I can use that to my advantage, and then Trevenant is still going to take a huge hit from Fire Blast anyways. Yeah, see, look at that. Easy to a KO. So as long as I don't miss, I'm fine. Which, thankfully, I do not, and I'm able to knock out the Trevenant, which is great. That's actually one less thing I have to worry about, which means now I am safe to spam E-Speed with my Entei. Actually, no, I don't want to risk, because I already hit two, so I'm not going to risk missing the next one. As... Can I just stun spore here? I think so. So I have two chances to hit this stun spore. Let's try that again. All right, Whimsicott, you can do it. I believe in you. Come on. You miss. I'm gonna be really upset with you. Like really, really upset with you, because then I'll probably lose. Probably lose. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, woman. No, I can't say that. That just sounds wrong. <laughs> I just, I need this to hit. Thankfully, it hits. Get paralyzed. No, okay, it's fine. So he just decides to go for U-turn, which is actually perfectly fine with me, considering the fact that, yeah, I, yeah, that game was, yeah, okay. So I saw the first match, in my opinion. So let's go get another one. Oh, the threats are here, boys. All right, guys, so we got the next match here. Um, If the face cam switched, I'm sorry, just because my webcam kind of tipped over. And I think we're facing my boy uh, Jamvad here with this uh, scary-looking team. I'm probably going to get 6 0 by, to be completely honest. <laughs> I'm actually really scared. Um, I'm going to lead off with Hydreigon. As he ends up leading off with the B. I really think I don't lose anything by just Dracoing. So he can't just go for Protect. Um, he'll probably switch into the Porygon 2, but I still lose nothing by just going for Draco either way. Yeah, because that still does a pretty solid 30% amount of damage, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Empoleon here. Just because I'd rather t be this Thunder Wave than something else, so I should be able to just safely go for a Toxic here. As he ends up bringing in the Rotom Moaz, I'm going to be able to uh, poison that. This could be Specs, actually. Unfortunately, though, I don't have any ground types on this team, which is... Uh, rather frustrating. So I'm gonna make a safe switch into my Hydreigon here. As he does just end up going for the safe Volt switch. And he's gonna bring in the Mod Champ. Okay. Uh, this is probably Assault Vested. So I'd rather just go for U turn and not stay in because I know I'm not gonna be able to finish him off with any one hit. Uh, Cresselia should be a perfect switch into this, so I'm not too concerned. As he does just end up going for the safe Dynamic Punch. Uh, I no no because switching the Beedrill is probably too risky this early on in the match. Um, Whimsicott maybe. I think Wim would be a safe switching. As he does end up going for the knockoff, so what I can do here is just go for a stun spore. 
just because I don't want him outspeeding, plus there's chances he could just get paralyzed. And he has Heavy Slam. Okay, uh, that was not something I was expecting, unfortunately. As he's going to be able to finish me off. So yeah, this thing is becoming a problem. Uh, he has no switch ins to Entei. So I should be able to just safely Sacred Fire here, I think. As, unfortunately, I get a crit. I don't know how much that crit is actually going to end up mattering, though. As he brings in the Gator. Uh, I'm gonna just make the safe switch into my into my Hydreigon here as he ends up going for the waterfall so that did way more damage than I was expecting as I think I'm still just gonna Draco as he ends up bringing back in the Porygon too um, he could just safely go for a recover here so I'm gonna make a risky switch into Entei pretty much allow me to just Sacred Fire again as unfortunately I don't get the burn or knock him out hmm. I'd rather just spam sacred fire in this scenario as I do manage to get the burn he will be able to paralyze me though which does kind of suck I really wish I had some way of getting rid of statuses on this team but it's fine as I'm just gonna sacred fire again as he ends up bringing in the Gligar no burn okay <laughs> It's fine though, because I should be able to just switch into Cresselia here, as he ends up going for the rocks. Um, I am just going to go for Substitute, I think, just to see what he wants to do. As he ends up bringing the Porygon too, this should allow me to get a free Calm Mind, actually. Potentially, yeah. So let's see what he wants to go for. He's probably just going to end up going for the Recover. Uh, no, he tries to break my Substitute, unfortunately, though, he does not. So I'm just going to Moonblast here to ensure that I knock him out and I'm able to be behind the sub. As he ends up bringing in the Gator. Uh, I highly doubt that a plus one Moonblast does too much damage to this. Uh, yeah, I do manage to get a Spatak drop, but that's not really too helpful to me in this scenario. Um, I should be able to live a Crunch easily. Yeah, wow, that does nothing. Good lord. Why is this so fat? <laughs> Why is Cresselia so bulky? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> um, his Beedrill is still a problem, so is that Rotom. But I can set up with Gligar. I mean, I can set up on Gligar. The question is, do I be aggressive here and knock him out? Or save Cresselia to win? Because actually, I think I can just win with what I have left. Uh, the only issue would be Gligar in that instance, because... Yeah, it's just, it's so bulky. Um, I could also Moonlight, potentially? No, no, I'm going to Moonblast. As long as I don't get a low damage roll, I'm fine. So getting rid of Gator is a huge plus for me. Unfortunately, though, I will probably just fodder off Cresselia here, to be honest. As he ends up bringing in the beast. So yeah, he can just safely go for U-turn. Um, I could also risk bringing in Empoleon. Because saving this for his Gligar would be tremendous for me. However though, Cressela doesn't do much to Beedrill anyways. So he's going to be able to knock me out. With the U-turn. Uh, he can just bring in Rotom potentially. So what I could do. Is actually just bring in my. My Hydreigon. To Draco. Or actually, no, I think I can just Dark Pulse. Well, how much did Volt Switch do earlier? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I did 28%. Um, hmm. I think I'll probably... I think I have to Fire Blast. No, no. Yeah, I can just miss Draco Meteor. <sighs> Well, that sucks. Because I probably just lost. Because of that. As I really have no choice but to just spam Scald here, unfortunately. Because it's really the only thing I can do. This should be gone! 
So yeah, that still does nothing to this thing. Um, I'm just gonna scold. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, that, I lost. Because Beedrill, yeah, that miss really just cost me the game. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> um, unless I get a crit with E-Speed, uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to pull out the victory here, which I'm probably going to get paralyzed anyways, let's be honest. <sighs> yeah, so I just got really, really unlucky in that matchup. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get one more match. Alright guys, so we got the last match here, and this is a pretty cool looking team. I like this team. Uh, he has two things to take on. My Hydreigon. He has nothing to switch into, I mean, he has two things to take on Entei, but nothing to switch into Hydreigon. Uh, let's see, leads, leads, leads. I honestly think I can just lead off with my Beedrill. Actually, Entei is a huge threat to my team. Actually, no, I'm going to lead off with, yeah. I'm gonna lead off with Hydreigon. Because I think that's probably my best lead. Because yeah, Entei just poses such a huge threat. So he's gonna be leading off with the Mod Champ. Okay. Unfortunately, I hallied out a Draco Okos him, so I'm just gonna go for the safe U turn. As he really loses nothing by just dynamic punching, anyways. So it's gonna be like the earlier match where I just switch into Cresselia. I'm probably just gonna switch into my. Uh, Whimsicott to take the knockoff because I really don't want to take any unnecessary damage. Uh, there's a chance he could have the Heavy Slam. I'm just going to Moonblast, I think, as he brings in the Dragology. Unfortunately for him, though, I end up getting a crit, which does kind of suck. I do apologize about that, but uh, it is part of the game. Plus, I got uh, that freaking Draco miss, man. It's fine, it's fine. So, he ends up bringing in the Kabalion as I can just safely go for a U-turn. And... I think I can just bring an Entei here and click Sacred Fire. Because I can take any hit this thing wants to go for and I can burn a Slow King potentially. Why is my nose itchy? Good lord. Yeah, I can take a Stone Edge. I can do... I can take anything it wants to go for. As he brings in Slow King... Uh, that's resisted... <laughs> that did 38%. I don't know how resisted that really is. I'm going to make a safe switch into my Whimsicott just because he's going to go for Trick Room. Okay. Ah, man, I wanted to Encore him into the, into the Trick Room. <laughs> uh, honestly, I should be able to just switch in Empoleon, I think. This could be a uh, Draco played, actually. Ah, damn it. I was really close to bringing in Cresselia. I should have listened to my better judgment there. Because that was, that was a really dumb play on my part. Especially because he has no way of getting rid of rocks. I can just go for, for them later. As he brings in uh, a Bomb of Snow. Um... I'm not really too worried about this, actually. I'm just gonna calm mind up, I think. As he goes for the blizzard and gets a crit. So that really sucks. But I will be able to outspeed him in moonlight, I guess. So that's a plus. So he's gonna bring Cabalion. Um, I'm really not too concerned about this, actually. Unless he has Toxic on this, which would uh, actually be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to be aggressive and just Moonblast as he decides to go for the Taunt. And a plus one, that still does a pretty solid chunk of damage, I would I would assume so. So yeah, I think I, I just lose nothing by just going for Moonblast again. I mean, I don't really mind if he switches into Slow King because Hail, Burn, and Moonblast damage. I mean, how much HP is it really going to be at? As he brings in Dragology, I get off a pretty solid chunk of damage and get the Spatak drop, unfortunately for him. Um, this is his last turn. So I can either be very ballsy and stay in, or switch into Empoleon for fodder. Because, no, yeah, I can take a Draco Meteor. What am I worried about? 
And I get another Spatak drop. Wow, 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 okay. Uh, I guess I guess I'm just paying getting payback for the previous match. Um, unfortunately for my opponent. I mean at minus two, I'm a plus one Spadef. I highly doubt it would have done too much damage. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not too upset by that. Okay, I need to get something for my nose. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I keep scratching my nose, but it like itches right here on the bottom and it's just really, really annoying. Uh, that is part of the game, my friend. I apologize. That, you, it wouldn't have, oh my. <laughs> I missed it, <a> man. <laughs> and then the burn is 50% anyways, and you're playing with confusion hacks with Mod Champ. How, how upset can you really be? And then you crit my Cresselia. Okay, my dude, whatever. <laughs> He... Just make a move, man. Oh my lord. Some people, man, I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. It's fine, though, because I can't just Moonblast here. So, uh, Cresselia putting the team on her back. Okay, you see, this is why we have this button. People like him. Now just sh shut up. So I'm gonna be able to use Moonblast here. I mean, if he really wants to stay in. You know what? He's probably gonna be that guy who just waits forever to make a move just to just to pay me back, even though he got hacks as well. Very, very very childish of him. If that is what he's gonna do. So, um, I'm just gonna pause until he decides to make a move. So, he decided to go for the Volt Switch as he uh, ends up bringing in the Entei. Um, yeah, Entei is a threat to my team, so I'm probably just gonna go for Moonlight here. Just because I want to be able to keep this at as much HP as possible, and I still need to find some way to get up my rocks. As I can probably just make a hard switch into Hydreigon. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So he ends up going for the Sacred Fire. Probably going to get a burn though in my luck. Uh, thankfully though he doesn't, which is great. So I should be able to just Draco Meter here with ease. As he ends up bringing in Kabalion. Unfortunately, not going to quite knock him out, but that still does a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, he could just get a Brox here actually, which would really, really suck. Um, I'm gonna switch into my Whimsicott. Yeah, so he does end up getting up the rocks. As I think I can just, uh, Stun Spore, actually. Yeah, so, uh, we're gonna make him upset a little bit more. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Moonblast here. Hmm. Unfortunately, don't quite knock him out, buddy. <laughs> I ignored him, so I don't I don't really care what he has to say. Uh, if I get rid of Kabalion, that's a huge plus for me, as he ends up bringing in the Entei. Uh, dude, Entei is such a threat to my team. Yeah, I should have had a better uh, resistance to this. Um, I can't fodder off and pull him blindly. I think what I can do is actually switch into my own Entei and just E-Speed, honestly. Uh, I'm not upset by that. I mean, I've been kind of hacking him anyways. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna e-speed get off as much damage as I can as He ends up knocking me out So now what I can do is just bring in Hydreigon and I think I should be able to just Dark Pulse actually Well, no, because he does have Mod Champ. Um Why don't I just bring in Beedrill? No, because I don't want to take rocks damage Yeah, I think I'd rather just bring in Hydreigon still and U-turn. Hmm. The question is, is he gonna stay in? No, okay, damn it. So he ends up just foddering off Dragology here. As this Dao allows him to get a free switch into Machamp. But uh, Machamp isn't a problem. 
Uh, you can also bring in a bomb of snow, which would be a bit of a nuisance actually, considering that I have nothing that switches in anymore. Uh, I need to get rid of these damn stealth rocks. Which I'm only going to be able to do on his uh, Slow King, unfortunately. Uh, this is... He can still win this, actually. I have to get rid of his Entei is what I have to do. I can knock this out. Why would you... Why? What is the point? Okay, I'm not sure why he made that play. Yeah, this you should have done this earlier. What are you doing? So I can just bring in Cresselia here. Even if he knocks off, that's fine. As I'm able to eat up the hit with ease, of course. Um, I kind of want to double into Hydreigon here because he'll probably switch into his Entei. And in that case, I can't just Draco again. Um, uh, I could sub. I think I'm a sub. Unfortunately, I hit myself in confusion there, which kind of sucks. I'm going to try to go for a Moonlight here, hopefully. But I am faster. Okay, so I am faster than him. Okay. So he's probably not running a lot of speed. <sighs> I bet he's I bet he's real happy that he's getting hacks now. Because <laughs> that's probably the kind of person that he is. So he ends up going for the for nasty plot here. I think I'm just gonna defog honestly. Just get just get rid of rocks first. As he ends up going for the trick room. Um I don't know if this can Oko me. So I'm just gonna get up rocks, as that did a pretty good chunk of damage, not gonna lie. But yeah, I'm in a good position now, I think. Because I can just go for Scald here. Uh, he will be able to finish me off, though. As he just ends up going for the Psy Shock. Now what I can do is bring in Hydreigon and Encore him into that. I mean, not Hydreigon. <laughs> I can bring in Whimsicott, Encore him into Psy Shock. Yeah, and then you turn into Hydreigon, potentially. Um, I could probably just hard switch into Hydreigon, actually. Yeah, I can just hard switch into Hydreigon here. Because I can still save Whimsicott. Yeah, see? And I can save it to Encore again later. So now I'm pretty much free to just drop a Draco. And uh, knock something out. Please don't miss! <sighs> okay, thank you. So, I'm gonna fodder off Whimsicott here. Now, I can get a free switch into Beedrill and probably just Poison Jab. Well, no, because I can bring in Cresselia and I can go for the Moonlight, actually. Yeah, because even if we switch into Obama, so that's not a problem. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just bring in Cresselia and just go for Moonlight. Uh, this match is gonna be pretty close, actually. Even after all that hacks. As <laughs> he's gonna be that guy. Okay. Can we not have this happen, please? So thankfully, I get the Moonblast off. A uh, Nose Attack drop, which does kind of suck. Um, gonna try and calm mind. Unfortunately. Um, he doesn't get the burn, which is nice, so if I can set up a sub here, I may be good to go. Hopefully. Because, uh, when I hit myself that turn, that's that really cost me, actually. Okay, so thankfully I get the sub up. So I'm going to try Moonlight here, I think. Can I get rid of this confusion, please? Thank you. So, I will be able to take blizzards, unfortunately, though. Uh, not very well. Uh, 
Damn it, he can potentially knock me out next turn. I have to moonlight. And <laughs> he freezes me! <laughs> uh, don't you just love this game, guys? I love this game. I'm just gonna poison jab. I'm pretty sure E speed Entei knocks me out at this point. So yeah, this was a really just really hacksy game. I don't know, if I do lose, I'm not gonna be upset. I don't really care and I don't he's probably trash talking because <laughs> it's, it's it's whatever, honestly. It's whatever. So he does have the ice shard, which means he pretty much wins the game. Yeah, because pretty sure E Speed does more than 40% to Hydreigon. And at 50%, I'm going to get knocked out by Entei anyways. Unless I crit with something, then yeah, there's no way I win this. Uh, oh well. Can't be too upset, I suppose. That's so stupid. I don't even care. Whatever. Okay, guys. So after uh, two rather unlucky matches, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's fine though. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy the live, and if you did, make sure to show off your support. Hit the like button down below. Check out my upload for Lumios that went up today. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. So, later, everybody.